Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! combo tutorial video, and this time it is going to be on another Zodiac combo for the post-maximum crisis capabilities and potentialities of this deck. Basically, you want to know what this deck does because this deck is very defined as the best engine of the format currently, because YCS Pittsburgh was this past weekend, and 32 out of the top 32 decks contained a zoo engine in them at the very least. So you definitely want to be like you know capable of understanding exactly what this deck can do if you're trying to play this deck or if you're trying to play a rogue option against this deck. And I'm making these videos as separate combo tutorial videos of like what certain combos do and what like categorizes each one as which one because it's easier for people to find, it's easier for people to, people to like digest. I could have easily made like a 30 to an hour long video, 30 minutes to an hour long video of just as many combos as I could fit in really quickly, but that doesn't give me time to discuss them at length uh, in terms of like little minor nuances and changes that could happen between them, as well as it makes it harder for people to find specific combos they're looking for in terms of how to perform certain ones. But anyway, this is going to be another Terra Top combo that I'm showing you, but this one's going to be Terra Top plus one random extender, uh, which could be a lot of different things. The best option is for rap here to be in your hand so terra top plus rap here or tanky but you could also do this with terra top plus ram ram plus barrage and uh and so that makes it very very easy to get to in terms of what it uh, allows you to start with for cards because it's very flexible it could be ram ram tanky rap here or barrage but if it's tanky you're going to go for rap here because it's the better outcome but what i like about this combo is because if you don't start with barrage if you start with rap here ram ram or tanky then you have barrages and instant fusions in your deck that are not being used for this combo. So if your opponent hits you with a hand trap in an odd moment, like GD Crowing your Norden target, or using Ghost Ash on a certain point in your combo, you can use barrages or instant fusions that you either drew or had in your hand already to extend the combo back into what it was supposed to be. Now, Rap here is the best starter, so Rap here or Tanky is the best starter, which is good because that's the most copies. You have five copies of that versus one Ram Ram and three Barrage. Uh, but it's the best because it actually allows you to draw six cards by sending Zodiac combo if you play it. But if you don't play Zoo combo, it's a draw five combo. So it's still really good as far as what it allows you to do because there's just so many draw five combos this deck has access to now because of uh, Chaka 9's existence. But anyway, this combo starts as you'd imagine it does with just Terra Top being special summoned and you use that to add your Taka Tom Borg to hand and then you special summon that as well. And now from here, you're going to normal summon your wrap here, and you're going to use that to send Zodiac combo to grave. Because with this specific combo, by normal summoning rat, we don't need to send a monster for this one to make the combo work. Uh, so sending Zodiac combo to grave allows you to just shotgun it during your opponent's turn whenever you have it, you know, active and like with five different names in grave. And so then you'll be able to draw a sixth card during your opponent's turn uh, off of this combo uh, being done. But you're going to overlay these two into your MX Saber Invoker, and you're going to detach your uh, your Takatom board, and you're going to special summon Zodiac Ram Ram from deck. It's important that you just get these two cards in circulation. You're going to be using Ram Ram later on in the combo anyway, so it's it's very important. But then from here, you're going to slap just any vanilla Zoo on top of uh, on top of your wrap here. So either your Hammer Kong or your Borbo, whichever one you don't care about the name. Uh, I typically go for Hammer Kong because I like that being engraved for uh, for the Chaka Nine plays later. Uh, just for like a little bit of just quicker access into it, but that's just my own personal preference. But regardless, you summon the wrap here from deck, and then you overlay these two cards into your Digusto Emerald, and then go into your uh, Broad Bull over your Hammer Kong, and search for your Fusion Substitute. So I'm going to be uh, shortcutting this a little bit. But so you summon your Digusto Emerald, you use your Broad Bull to search for your Lunalite Black Sheep and your Fusion Sub. Uh, so Lunalite Black Sheep, Fusion Sub, the first of two Fusion Subs that you use in this combo string. And then you are going to use this Digesto Emerald to detach Rap here and shuffle back one Rap here, shuffle back Lunalite Black Sheep, and then you can just shuffle back Hammer Kong or Taka Tomborg. I, I usually just shuffle back Taka Tomborg uh, just because it makes your uh, Terra Tops live later in the game uh, because you could easily shuffle back MX Saber Invoker at the end of this combo as well. But also, it just allows you to uh, it allows you to uh, keep more zoo names in grave for combo to be live on your opponent's turn sooner. But so you draw a random card, and then from here you're going to fusion sub, and you're going to fusion substitute away the MX Saber Invoker and the Emerald specifically. Now the reason you do this is to make this combo stronger against hand traps. 
For instance, if you get DD Crowed here and you would use uh, the Broad Bull instead of the Invoker, you got an Invoker and a Norden on the field, and that does nothing. But if you get Crowed here on your Norden, you could just slap a Dryden on top of your uh, on top of your uh, Broad Bull, or you could go Chalk and Nine, revive the uh, Ram Ram, then Dryden pop it, and still be able to make another Emerald. So like it just makes it more uh, it makes it more you know in tune with uh, with what you're looking to do here. But so you're gonna bring back your Rap here off your Norden. You're gonna overlay these two into your second Broad Bull, and then you're going to detach both materials off of it to summon the second wrap here from deck that you just put back, as well as searching that Luna Light Black Sheep that you shuffled back into your deck. So you'll search the Black Sheep, and you'll special the wrap here, and then off your Black Sheep you will discard to get your second copy of Fusion Substitute. Now from here, your Norden is engraved with Fusion Sub, so you'll just banish the Fusion Substitute from Grave to put your Norden back into your extra deck, and then draw another random card. And so from here, this fusion sub is live, so something you could definitely use is the fusion sub right now, but that's actually just not optimal for the combo string. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to overlay Shock and Nine over one of your Broad Bulls, and then you're going to detach Shock and Nine, and you're going to special summon that Ram Ram from Grave. And that's why the Ram Ram is important to have. Now you can't overlay with this Ram Ram with, for the uh, XC summon of an Emerald, which is what our next step wants to be. So what you're going to do is you're going to overlay one of your random zoo names that you know you're not using for the rest of the turn, in this case Borbo, and then you're going to overlay that straight into Dryden's. And then you're going to use Dryden's to usually, I detach Shock and Nine, just because it's better to be able to recycle that earlier, especially if you're only playing one, but you want to keep the, you know, Shock and Nines in your extra deck more than Borbo, and you use Dryden to destroy the Ram Ram. And then the Ram Ram is going to special summon the second copy of Rat Pier that is still in your graveyard. Now from here, you can overlay into Digesto Emerald, so we're just going to do that. Basically, when you're trying to do any of the draw five combos, you want to be able to alternate your Digusto Emerald summons with your Fusion Substitutes. You want to be able to summon Emerald, then Fusion Sub, summon Emerald, Fusion Sub, summon Emerald. Uh, that's the that's the formula you want to be following. But anyway, off the Emerald, you're going to detach the Rat Pier. You're going to shuffle back Rat Pier, and you're going to shuffle back MX Saber Invoker, and you're going to shuffle back Digusto Emerald. Uh, now, like like I said, we could shuffle back other cards like Chalk and Nine and Broad Bull, but we want to leave a high count of Zoo cards in Grave to shuffle back off that combo so that we can shotgun it during our opponent's turn. But so you're going to shuffle these back into your deck and you're going to draw a card. The only card that I put back in the deck like there was a zoo card off that is uh, always the rat. Just because you want the rat to be in deck in case something weird happens like your opponent top decking like a DD Crow and using it in response to your combo to banish a rat. Something like that. Something stupid that could definitely happen. But So you've drawn three cards. You're going to activate this fusion sub, fusing away this leftover broad bull and this emerald and you're going to use that to summon the Norden once again. Now this Norden here is going to special summon your either Rat Pier or Ram Ram. I typically do Rat Pier just to keep it under the Emerald, uh, and Ram Ram is the card that could be put back in deck, but like it's it's really just subjective to the way you want to play the game. Uh, but so from here, overlay these into your Digesto Emerald again, the one that you just shuffled back, or a different one if you play three copies of it. I'm not going to judge. Uh, there's definitely times where I want three emerald in my extra deck, but anyway, so you'll use Digesto Emerald, and you'll shuffle back Emerald number one, and then based off what's in your extra, like in your grave, you could shuffle back different cards. I'm definitely going to put back a Broad Bull, because there's two in grave, and Combo can only put back cards of different names. Uh, so there's that, and then I'll put back a Terra Top, uh, because I put back the Taka Tomborg into the deck already. So we'll put back Terra Top, and that way we've put back Invoker, Terra Top, and Taka Tomborg. And so from here, you can draw a random card again. And then our fusion sub is live and grave, which we can then banish to put the Norden back into the extra deck and draw yet another card. Now, if we take a look at the graveyard with the way that I've sequenced this, we've got a Broad Bull, Ram Ram, a Chaka Nine, and a Hammer Kong in grave. So we've got four different zoo names in grave, and there's an additional zoo name underneath this Broad Bull. So as soon as this Dryden detaches a material, this combo is live to shuffle back five cards and draw you a sixth card. So, right now we just have these five extra cards, which is fine because we started with two monsters, we started with two cards, and then we drew five cards off of it, and we've set up a sixth draw. And we've got Dryden's, and then whatever cards you draw, obviously, just extend your play further. Like, for instance, if I'd gotten Hand Trapped there, if I'd drawn Barrage, or if I had this Instant Fusion or whatever, then I could have just kept going. And that's like the most secure thing about this combo. That's why I like it the most, is that 
it's so safe. It's so safe against hand traps uh, because all of your other like superior extenders, as they're called, with like barrage and instant fusion, have not been used. Uh, you're just using really basic stuff. And so yeah, like I said, like if you draw anything like Tinky, you could use Tinky to add more whip tails. Those also just like fuel your combos and stuff. Like you, you, you have a good amount of flexibility in what you can do, and you've got a good recovery as well because of the fact that this combo is live in your grave, and there's already four names chilling here ready to go back into your deck and then a fifth one is going to happen as soon as either the like board gets wiped if your opponent has dark hole ragaki or kaiju slumber uh or if this hits the graveyard being detached off the dryden's uh so like there's there's a lot of uh a lot of good amounts of uh, advantage that you've gained from this because you just get to reset your resource pool completely like all three terra tops and takatom borg are back in the deck mx saber invoker is back into the extra deck so, like, if you get board wiped and you draw a Terra Top, you can special Terra Top, get Takatomborg again, do Invoker again. Like, it just, it makes it very, very good for your longevitous game plan. But anyway, that is this combo. Like I said, you can do this with Terra Top plus either Rat, Tenki, or Ram Ram for the best results you want Rat. Um, and you can also have Barrage as, uh, as your second card because Barrage will just summon one out of the deck like your Rat or your Ram Ram. And then your Terra Top into uh, Invoker will just summon the other one. So it just gets really simple and really easy. Uh, I don't really. Th it doesn't work as smooth with uh, with with Terra Top uh, Instant Fusion because you need that extra monster uh, that's not Rat, that extra level four. Uh, but you could definitely do it in certain situations, like if you had uh, Terra Top Instant Fusion and like a Whip Tail. Uh, because then you'd be able to like just thoroughblade this away and do some other stuff or do or do some other weird like nonsensical play lines it, It's definitely structurable in a way that it would work But anyway as always guys thanks for watching Let me know what your thoughts are on this combo in the comments down below Like I said this is my favorite combo specifically to perform This is the one that I always go for the most because like I said it's the safest against hand traps Or at least it's the one I know that is the safest to hand traps But anyway Again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. But otherwise, as always, links are in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to support the channel directly. The Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access to a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month for some high-dollar Konami product or a high-dollar card, as well as you could get access into my private Discord server where I chat with people on a 24-7 basis. We chat with each other, we chat amongst ourselves, all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in either of those, then definitely go check out the Patreon page and go check out the reward tiers themselves. But other than that, if you want to indirectly support the channel, then definitely check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far. So, so definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, again, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time as usual. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on this combo in the comments down below. If you have your own not really too specific combos, like one or two card combos of cool things and cool decks that you want to send, you can send them to the email address that's in the description as well. But other than that, take care guys. I will see you in the next video.